Welcome to Taylor Morrison. This video series is designed to make your Taylor Morrison homeowner experience even better. Just follow these easy do-it-yourself tips. They may help you save some valuable time and money. This is your toolkit to help you preserve your home and protect your investment. So let's dive in to some home care highlights. Protect and preserve your home like a pro. In this video, let's discuss maintenance for your basement sump pump system. The following items will be necessary. A tarp or some old towels, rubber gloves, a small fiber brush, a large bucket of water, and a garden hose. Homes that feature basements and or crawl spaces are always susceptible to moisture, whether it is caused by runoff from rain, snow melt, the water table, or irrigation water finding its way near your foundation. Whatever the case, a sump pump helps collect and redirect water away from your basement to prevent water damage. A sump pump works in the background automatically, so it's easy to forget about, that is, until it malfunctions. Annual maintenance is extremely important and extremely simple. You may want to spread a tarp or some old towels around your work area because it can get messy. First, locate the dedicated breaker and switch it off. Next, unplug the sump pump unit's power cord. Carefully disconnect the discharge pipe from the pump. The check valve keeps expelled water from returning to the sump pit when the pump shuts off. Inspect the flapper valve inside and clean off any dirt or debris that's visible. Remove the pump from the collection pit. If the sump pump has been operating properly, there should only be a small amount of water in the collection pit. Place the pump onto the tarp and transport it to an outdoor work area. Proceed to clean the outside of your pump. You can use a garden hose, but keep the pressure low. Use a brush to remove dirt and debris from the inlet screen and give the pump one final rinse with your hose. Return the pump into the collection pit, then reattach your check valve and discharge pipe. You are free to plug the power cord back in and turn the breaker back on. To test your sump pump and to make sure your check valve is in proper working order, fill up the collection pit with a large bucket of water. Once the water reaches a certain level, the float switch should activate and the pump should begin redirecting the collected water out through the discharge pipe. Never add chemicals to the sump pit. As always, consult your manufacturer's manual for proper maintenance procedures. Taylor Morrison, homes inspired by you.